So I think the lore behind this play is almost just as interesting as the play itself. So obviously to set the stage, we all know how important this was. There's 26 seconds left. It's a moving clock. So you know every second passes uh, is one less second of game time. It's second down and goal at the one yard line. And everyone is thinking you got to put Marshawn Lynch in the game, put the ball in his hands and see if he can score a touchdown right here. But why didn't Seattle do that? Well, it's actually pretty fascinating. So first things first here is that the Patriots are running a package that they haven't ran all season long. You see those three players, those are all cornerbacks. So this is what you they call goal line three corner. Pretty simple enough, right? It's a goal line scenario. So you you have a goal line package, but with three cornerbacks on this play. It's something that during the two weeks for the Super Bowl, they said, you know what, this actually makes some sense. Uh, it was actually Matt Patricia who decided to put this package in. He felt like this would be a time that they could use it, which still in this scenario, you can run the football if you want to. Look, that's how the blocking concept would probably go. You can block everybody except for the player all the way to the offense's left, so towards the top of the screen. Uh, that's what you could do here. And listen, it could work. Marshawn Lynch just, you know, gained four yards on the previous play. Could he gain another one? It's entirely possible, but... Seattle did not know going in exactly what would be happening. They're going to run a pick play, which had been very successful this season. It's been one of their best short yardage plays of the season. In fact, it's been their best short yardage play of this season. And you can see how it could work, right? You have one of your wide receivers just block the defensive back who's on the line. One other receiver runs a click slant route. But what you also might notice is one New England defensive back in particular is doing something very fascinating, and I am not talking about Malcolm Butler. This is Brandon Browner, who is known for being a physical cornerback. He's you know 6'4", so he's a bigger guy, and he's kind of a perfect guy to help make, th make this play work. You see how close to the line he's playing, and his job on this play, because he knows there's a good chance that this is what is going to be happening, it is going to be the pick play that the Seahawks are going to be running, is his plan is to disrupt it, to give Malcolm Butler a clear lane to run and try and you know, knock away the ball if it's a slant route. Watch how right when this play begins, you see how aggressive he is in going out and making that initial block, which can now allow for a potential lane for Butler. As you see, both guys do kind of have a lane, but actually Butler has a bit more of a clear lane at this point in time, and this is exactly what was supposed to happen here. Now, maybe Russell Wilson could have noticed this, maybe he would have had Marshawn Lynch open to throw to on the other side of the field, but he did not notice it. And the reality is, even in this situation, it's still not a horrible situation for Seattle. Malcolm Butler has to make a really good play here, and in fact, when New England ran this in practice, they kept screwing it up actually they weren't very good at it it's also worth mentioning why Malcolm Butler is even in on this play to begin with he's here because Kyle Arrington kept getting torched by Chris Matthews so they eventually took him out uh and Butler was the guy who came in he just had 17 percent of the snaps on that season he still practiced this play a decent amount heading up to the Super Bowl because you know that's what New England does they're prepared but still it's certainly you know a big spot for someone who hasn't had a lot of playing time however butler does run in make the catch incredible play you know to hold on to the ball while taking that hit right there and that was all she wrote that was the swing between seattle winning back to back and the patriots winning their fourth they would go on to win two more brady ended up winning just as many after this game as he did before this game which is crazy to think about but incredible play so many moving parts and just a very fun one to talk about